and Thailand is heading to the polls today. It's first democratic election since the military coup in 2014. It's widely being seen as a referendum on democracy. The Thai Prime Minister has voted now in the elections. Now, Thailand's major political parties campaigned in a final push of a vote till Saturday evening. Thailand's Prime Minister took to the stage at a final rally of his party, aiming for a second term. The Thai Prime Minister had kept away from all the party rallies over concerns of being accused of abusing his office in violation of the electoral laws. The opposition also held a last-minute rally in Bangkok before sunset. <laughs> After the military takeover, the ruling dispensation has weakened political parties and ensured its own survival. The voting under a revamp system is said to be heavily tilted in favor of the ruling junta and against the populist opposition. Now, the uh, opposition has been repeatedly ousted from power after winning previous elections. But uh, 7 million first time voters and palpable anger among the Thais against political instability could change this game in Thailand. In the meanwhile, the Thai Election Commission says it is well prepared for the polls and has warned people not to violate election laws. Police officers and volunteers checked through materials like ballot papers and pens on Saturday before distributing them to polling stations. Now, there is a 24-hour ban on the sale of alcohol. It, it was placed, in fact, before the country heads to the polls yesterday. The ban was put in force uh, at 6 in the evening yesterday on Saturday.